Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Air Hauler with me, Mirror37. So, we did that flight over to Italy, and then I was going to do the MD-11 flight um, to Hamburg, Germany from Istanbul. The problem was I actually kind of forgot about it, um, and I ended up not doing it, and I actually had uh, the person actually do it, Brandon Kelly, one of our uh, pilots, and I actually even got got it late. So I got dinged on that. Uh, that was up to Hamburg. But uh, there is actually a flight from Hamburg down to Barcelona. So I said, hey, let's take that. Because I did want to do the MD-11. I want to show some of that plane some more. So we're going to do that flight now. Uh, it's the same plane that Alitalia. We've flown that many times before, I do believe. So I get moved over there. I think I've already got... Uh, no, I haven't loaded it up. Alright, it's actually kind of further than that because, especially the star, the way you come in, I don't know, was kind of, I had to go way around. Not way around, but there were actually some that went even further around. So it's actually a little bit, or it's well over 900 miles, actually. Go ahead and fly it, do a day flight. We gotta find a where we can start out. Well, it looks like there's only one heavy area. One slot for heavy, so let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. Alright, everybody, here we are at the plane. I should have turned my traffic up. I got that world of AI, and I'm really liking it. Oh, that looks really jittery. I'm not sure if that... what that was about. Alright, let's jump back in here. I'll tell you what, this really needs to be quieted. I should redo this, some of the sound files on this as well. I can't hear a thing except... The fans, avionics, and everything. And these views need to be redone as well. I just hope I can remember how to do this because uh, I've not been in this plane too long. We did that flight from Juno to Bozeman, but that's about it in the last over a year or so. So EDDH to LEBL. Now we should be pretty light, so I'm going to go 320. 340 and then top out at 360 we'll see what it ended up saying what our optimal flight level is we'll do a house index of 75 all right so optimal is 36,000 so I actually got that pretty well all right I gotta remember how to do this page over Right, I'm going to go over to the load manager and everything so we can do our weights. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody. went over to the load manager. I forgot to write down how much fuel we had, so I just kind of guessed at that. I can't remember which ones we got to do here. Yeah, not allowed. Not allowed. All right. So we've got that. I do have the um, startup procedures, so just in case we need them. We might need them. I don't know. Let's go over to... Actually, let's go over to take off and approach. Flaps. Let's use... I can't remember if I used 15 or 18. Oh, it's, it's that dial off flap. Um, let's do 15. We usually do like 10 in the 747. Slope is 0, 0.0. .0. Let's say there's a eight knot wind. Outside air temperature, let's say it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm afraid these might actually get erased, but if they do, we'll just come back. Because I need to go over to the flight plan. EDDH is where we're taking off. Uh, where is it? Here we go, Sid. All right, we're taking off on runway 15. Let me get this out. This plane I made. I deck 4D. Go ahead and insert that. Go back to the flight plan. Yeah, see it. It, it did mess up the V speeds. This wasn't I thought would happen. Where was it? There we go. Ah. 
We say eight knot wind. 79, so maybe I was right. Maybe, I don't know if it's detected or not. I put 80, it says 79, whatever. All right, we gotta go this way. See if there's any discontinuities or anything. There's our top of descent level. All right, so we'll get our star put in here. We're gonna land on runway seven left. And our star will be verse. Is it verse two Z? See if we can find that. A lot of them, isn't there? Verse one, verse two Z zero seven B. That's probably gonna be it. Let's go ahead and insert that. Go back to our flight plan here. Should go up from the bottom. This is that weird thing where. See, it goes to level, but you got it. That's the first one. You got to take that out. Take this out right here. Okay, that that one went away. I saw it pop up, but it went away. This get rid of this discontinuity as well. And there, runway seven left. All right. So I don't know how you do the. Um, landing speed, like your approach speed. Yeah, I don't know how we would do that. Like in 747, we can go over and we get close because obviously that the landing speed changes. I'm not sure if this one does it automatically or how I can go through the procedures once we take off. Once we're cruising, maybe I can do that. All right, but that's that. Um, I'll put the brakes and take off. I gotta trim this thing. I said 15 on the flaps. So I'll go back over here to the dial of flap. I was, I didn't know if I should go to 15 or 18, but sorry, it's sorry, it's set at 15. All right. All right, so 15, you can see we got to trim it, stabilizer or trim. Got to get into the red, or red, the green. I can't remember the exact number. It really doesn't matter as long as you get into the green. Try and get it as close as I can to the middle. It's a little much. Oh, all right. Should be good right there. We're going to 36,000. I'll go ahead and set it at 36. It'll do the step climb automatically. I should check that V2 speed. Oh, how, how do I always forget this? Take off an approach. Maybe that thing is the landing speed might be here actually. V2 is 166. Yeah, I say I don't see it. I'm not going to do a derated takeoff. You do the derated takeoff by putting it, I believe it, you do it by putting it at temperature right there. We're not going to worry about that. 166. Is our speed. And we're taking off on 7 left. Check that out in a bit, see if I got that right or not. All right, let's check out our lights here. No smoking on, we'll put seatbelts on auto. So that's on, we don't need the logo. Beacon is off, that's off. I wish they would either just all tell you they're off or on. I don't know why they have to be different. 
Some of them say that when they're off, the others are on, unless it's not. I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Put that on the taxi. And I think we're ready to go. Five left. I'm not really sure. Where are... Is that the screen? So it's actually right going this way. No, it's going this way. Sorry. Now I'm confused, because it looks like our runway is going this way. Now I'm a bit confused. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong... We're at 150. We're landing on runway 7. That that makes more sense. I was like, I was looking at the wrong number. Alright, so 15 left. It looks like it's... It might be this one right here. There are two runways right here, so that's our best bet. Alright, the parking brake is off. Go ahead and do the pushback this way. Like I said, I've kind of stopped doing the PMDG one, but PMDG one because uh, that comes with the plane. It just seems like it takes forever. Well, technically, we shouldn't have the engines running or the taxi light on, but starts up with the engines on so I was like mech with it and I don't want to go through the whole takeoff uh, or startup procedures and all that I've done that so many times although I do want one thing I like about this plane so much of it is automatic I, got, I really like that need to go through and redo some views on this one as well I don't know, when you import your old uh, Easy Dock views, it just it doesn't seem to work right. Although it's the 747, it changes like every daggone day. So this might be it right here, I can't tell what that says. Or it could be the further one over. Let's go ahead and stop that. All right. Yeah, we need to arm the spoilers. All right, let's go on over and take a look. Man, with those fans so loud, I, I can't even hear the engines at all. Just like they're blaring at me. I don't think it's this runway, it's going the wrong direction. I believe it's that other one. Let's see, what does this sign say? I don't have a VelaSoft uh, electronic flight bag running. That would uh, make things so much easier because it actually shows me exactly where to go. But it's got to be over here. Let's take a turn right here. Because I, like I said, I think it's the other one over here. Actually, this one isn't going the right direction either. Actually, it might be. All right. This is 23. Hopefully that's it over there. Let's stop right here and take a look before we cross. I need to restart Opus as well. I forgot about that. This plane starts up so weird too. When I start up, it gets me, gives me like three, they call it dummy views. That I gotta like close down. Some of them look like the panels, almost kind of 2D panel light. Then I gotta close those down to get to the actual screen. It's kind of odd. I don't know why it does that. All right. This can't be it either, it can it? 
guess it could. I'm a little worried this isn't our runway. Because it should be going... Well, no, it does go to the left more. So we may need to go way over there. I don't think this is it. That looks like 33 and 15. That is it, 1-5. Damn it. I got 1-5 in my, or 7 in my head. It is 1-5, runway 15. I don't know why I can't get that straight now. Right, so it's down here further than I originally thought as well. Can't wait to get into editing. I gotta so see if this sound is way too freaking loud. I don't know why PMDG, PMDG does that. Like, their original sounds with the fans and stuff is just blaring loud. Doesn't make any sense to me. That's what I'll go through and remove it. Not remove it, but just tone it down. It's just ridiculous. So I got two videos already ready to post right now, but I got to get this one. I'm going away for a few days out of town down to Wilmington, North Carolina to s'more family. So I want to get some stuff done so I, I'll have more than enough videos to post. I usually like having two or three ready to post just in case something happens. If I don't fly for a while, I've still got videos to post, stuff like that. So I definitely want to get stuff posted. Flight's done, so that I can't post. I need another, really would like to do another FS Passengers and uh, Around the World before we go. Got to do Skathos to Minkinos. And I don't know what I'll do in FS Passengers. A couple weeks ago, I was doing those flights, and it was like they were so nice, and it was so fun. I was having such a good good time doing it. I got like two or three in a row, just bam, bam, bam. It was so much fun flying. But I haven't flown since. Now I need to get some flights in. All right, finally gonna get to the runway. I don't know if we were at the other end or not, but I thought that's kind of nice one of those runways was ours. Did you can take off right there? No, this is way down here. Alright, let's slow down. Gonna turn way out. I don't think I went far enough around. All right, stop right here. All right, yeah, that might have been the end of the runway over there. Let's go ahead and move on over. High intensity, I believe, is our beacon. So that's on. Or not the beacon, the strobe, sorry. All right. Landing lights are on. Spoilers are armed. You see we got the green bar right here. Means we are ready for takeoff. Or the takeoff configuration I can say is good. Let's see how we did on the turn. Eh, a little out a little far. All right. I can't even remember if we hit auto flight before or after we take off. All right. Hit all three just in case. All right. 
I believe the plane will automatically set its thrust. That's why I was wondering. You hear it click, and then those sounds go away. There we go. Thrust set, 80 knots. V1. Rotate. I still cannot... Positive rate. Still cannot hear the engines. Gear up. All right. Let's take a look out at Hamburg. I'm watching that speed over here dropping. Alright, let's take a quick look because I might have to jump back in. Looks nice. Apparently the airport is like right... <laughs> Not in the center, but dang, it's close. It's not away from the city at all, is it? Those sectors look really good if you ask me. Out of curiosity, at 20, 30 frames a second, those textures obviously are Orbex FTX Global. Flaps up. All right, slaps retracted. Slaps retract. Those huge fans uh, sounds are back all right I'm gonna check the sound real quick and then we'll go ahead and speed it up by the way we can turn our nose light off there we go all right so I'll check the sounds and speed it up and be back in just a bit
Alright everybody, I'm back. This has been the worst descent ever. The plane wasn't descending quick enough. I've had that happen before. So I got it on the vertical speed and we were going quite fast on the vertical speed and on one of the weather injections we got our stupid overspeed and it said that we oversped forever which is annoying. I believe we just went flaps 15. I believe. Yes. But we got the overspeed, and then we were ended up. We weren't descending quick enough. Then we ended up way too far down. It's just not been a 
hasn't been a good descent at all. So we're going to be at 3,000. I don't know. It says we're on the right descent anyway. Let's decrease the range a little bit. This is a five mile range. Our landing speed is 158. I believe it does it automatically. It did say 158. Let's go flaps. I believe that's 28. Flaps 28. And so we've got one more notch. I don't, because I don't believe you land at 40. I believe you use 35. says we need drag well I don't believe that's true seems like we're too high we are got to be too high look flaps 35 oh jeez I'm not sure if it's gonna auto land or not I can tell you one thing, we're going too slow. I'm not sure if I should trust this thing or not. We're on the glide slope right now and it's bringing itself back up. I'm, I believe I am controlling the speed though. Yeah, I'm controlling the speed. Uh, don't what is this thing doing it's making me nervous because I it's not really telling me what's going on now I hit auto land and it's I don't know if it just went in or what it's a bit odd now it's diving down in our speed pull back up please I mean, we're around the glide slope right there now we're going too fast again all right. I believe it's about time for me to take over. I'll just say screw this. Autopilot. Autopilot. I can't remember how to make Autopilot. it shut up. Autopilot. I can't remember how to do it. Autopilot. Autopilot. All right, we need to get down, Autopilot. and we're a little fast. Autopilot. Five hundred. Autopilot. Four hundred. Doesn't make it any easier with this thing Autopilot. screaming at me. Approaching minimum. Autopilot. Minimum. All right, we're at idle. Autopilot. Autopilot. One hundred. Autopilot 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Autopilot. Spoilers to Says it was okay. Autopilot. 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 I want to shut Autopilot. that thing up here in a second. Autopilot. 80 knots. Autopilot. 60 knots. Autopilot. Oh my god, I hate this Autopilot. thing. This happened last flight. Autopilot. 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 Lady, we get it. Autopilot. It's autopilot. I get it. Alright. Autopilot. 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 What? There's a button around here autopilot. somewhere. I can't get it to shut up. Autopilot. Oh my Autopilot. god. What in the hell? Autopilot. Autopilot. What is the Autopilot. button? Alright, I just got to shut up by hitting the autopilot on my joystick. 
I, I don't know because the joystick one hasn't been working either. It worked out. I don't know. This was really odd. I couldn't get to shut up last time either. All right. Take me to the gates. Oh, I just remembered, uh, my FS recorder buttons are tied into this too. That creates a problem. All right, landing lights off. Go to the taxi light. Uh, strobe is off as well. See, those fans are just too loud, man. It's you can't hear the engines at all. Oh my goodness, this has gotten crazy. Ever since the top, everything was great until like the top of descent, and then everything has just gone horribly wrong. With the vertical speed, the the plane would not descend quick enough, and then. I got it descending too quick, and then we got ended up way too low. A bunch of other stuff happened as well. Then get down here, and the autopilot won't shut up. I should have checked, but they would have told me. Plus, we don't have very much traffic at all. It sounds like it's got a long taxi lined up for us. That's always nice. I believe we're not over here where it can be over here that terminal I believe yeah so ever since we I started descending this thing has just gone crazy crazy downhill you know yeah it gave us an overspeed as well I'm not gonna it's a weird turn right there whatever we got an overspeed as well because the weather changed while we're descending and we were already going fast and then it, it made it said way too fast and the thing is it didn't shut off very quickly either usually it, it only flashes up for a second or two but it's it stayed up for a long long time and it was just like oh no don't tell me we're gonna do that all kinds of damage however that was not my doing it's the weather injection So I don't typically count that as me. What is this progressive taxi? It's got us out on the runway and then curving back around? What is going on here? And look, it's got two different kinds of arrows. Some are pointing the other way. <laughs> what is this thing doing? Although it does kind of look like this is a taxi area, even though it's on a runway, because you look at those as well. This is odd. This is an odd, odd taxi. Everything's just gotten crazy since the top of descent. This <laughs> this thing. Good. I was hoping that truck would speed up because it's like, man, we're coming through and we're just gonna plow through. It was a horrible turn because we were going too fast as well. I'm all out of sorts right now. Let's get these flaps retracted. Forgot about that too. All right. Yeah, it, it usually when you hit auto land too, it'll tell you auto land. Um, the guy will say it, but he didn't say anything. So I don't know if it was gonna auto land or not, and it was going crazy trying to get self set up I don't know so I had to jump back in sometimes you got to do that and yes this is third party this is mega airport Barcelona X I, can't, I think it's by Aerosoft I can't be for sure and yes it's also um, old uh, it was actually made for you can use it I think both for 2004 and FSX. 
So the textures aren't really, you know, that great. Not bad. Better than default, obviously. All right, so we are in a cargo area. That's one thing I do like about the third-party airports as well. Is a lot of times they do have a cargo area, and they send you to it when you're in a cargo plane, which is kind of nice. That ah, guy, you are so in the way. You are so in the way. We gotta go around you. Nice job. Nice job by you. This is my fault. Right, I was gonna say we'll just park at one of these, but they've got us right up here, so might as well just go to it. I have a feeling the plane got really damaged and overspeed. Kind of worried about that. I ended up having to descend to like 4,000 feet a minute too, because uh, we had to be at 10,000 feet, 250 knots, and we were like 16,000 feet, maybe even higher. And when I did get below 10,000 feet, we we're way over. 250 knots, but I had to get it down to the to the de proper descent. And then we ended up way too low, and I left the speed brake on. It was just everything everything that, that could go wrong in the descent went wrong. So this sounds so much better. Why can't it sound like that in the cockpit? You can actually hear the engines. All right. Listen to that. I don't know if it's like that for you all, but in these headphones, it's just extremely loud. Parking brake is on. Fuel is off. Thank God. Thank God that sound is gone. Alright, that is off. I can't remember where the battery is. I'd turn that on there. So it doesn't... That'd still give me a warning. All right, let's go over to air hauler. Check what we've done. All right, let's go ahead and unload everything. We're still 100%, so that's all I care about. We didn't do any damage to that. We didn't we did fly on the landing. I would like to check it out. It looks it was like we hit the area. Deep in the area. Far in the area, but still in the area. I'll have to take a look and see how it looked. I'm not too sure, to be quite honest. I was trying to concentrate, but it got that... Lady autopilot, autopilot, she's just like, jeez, man, shut up. So we had the Alitalia, it got hurt, I'm sure. Uh, only 5%, so maybe it did do that 5% um, with the overspeed. I, it was just on there so long, I was like, man, like, this is really going to tear up the plane. But it's not, is that, is that the yellow one? Yeah, so it's, uh, all right, 88 hours, so it needs to be checked out. All right, so we're in Barcelona, I don't know if there's another flight down here I mean I'm sure there's flights because it's our base but none that pay that well that I want to do soon we might be able to do something like that um I do want to do some FS passengers though today um Dublin that we got scenery for Dublin I've shown that many a times that pays so much. I might be able to do that later tonight if I get FS passengers on around the world. Around the world will be a short one. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Now, i got to do a little more in this plane because I, I can't remember stuff. I couldn't remember how to shut up the autopilot. But it's weird that that button worked for it because it won't work in the 747 anymore. My uh, master autopilot. I don't know what, what the heck's going on with that. All right, but other than that, it wasn't too bad, except for the top of the descent. The descent was just crazy. All right, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you on the next flight.
20, 10, 